Hey guys, this is X Peter C1 with another redstone contraption. And I have here is Paint version 2.0. There's a lot of features I'd updated onto this. Now you see these two points. You can't tell which one is the cursor, but uh, since um, in the old version, which was Paint version 1, uh, which was based off uh, Tony Ta T Tom YS from RDF, Redstone Development uh, uh, Foundation. And um, I took his design of his GPU. But this time I have completely scrapped it and created my own version. So let's go back to what I was trying to do. And you see these two points. You really can't tell which is the cursor. But I added a feature that will uh, show you which one. So um, when you switch, switch this lever, it minimizes paint basically. Or closes it, uh, close it, uh, whatever you want to call it. And what's left on the board is just the cursor. So let's bring, back, uh, let's bring it back up and to show you another feature. Now, the, um, I created the vertical counter, so now uh, up and down is a little bit faster, but I'm using left and right still with the uh, Minecraft Addicts counter, so um, you can't cycle it through. What I mean cycle it is when you stand on the pressure plate, you don't have to move and it will still scroll for you. So I just stood there for like about two seconds, and uh, it keeps scrolling uh, down for me. Now, you can uh, still do one, uh, one up because... Um, there's still a um, a pulse generator, but um, uh, that that uh, there's another loop that goes through that just continues. So let's just do the uh, undo feature that I'm really happy about. So all you have to do is move your cursor right on top of the pixel that you want to undo, and um, this is the change. This is essentially the pen or the uh, the pencil and the uh, eraser that's on paint so the indicator light has lit up that's saying that I have um, fully fully um, completed the operation and now the pixel is gone and the only thing that's left is just the cursor so now I've shown you that you can scroll through up and down on these uh, keypads now and um, you can still move the um, the cursor around and still do the paints that you want to do so everything's a little bit slower because I had to include a whole bunch of bus. Beside that, you have these two save features now, which include, uh, which is included, and it can load uh, it can have up to five hard drives on this kind of uh, build. It can include all the way up or more, but I'm looking for 32. So let's see if the operation has been completed. And if I did, I would have created another pixel. And yes, I have. So let's erase the whole board. and I'll show you the load feature from the hard drive. So I have two hard drives and each of them have a different picture at the moment. Uh, the first hard drive, it contains a picture and uh, yes, it, is a, uh, two, it has a number 2.0 so um, this is to show you that you can uh, save a picture and uh, the, another cool feature is that you can load this onto the GPU to be edited. However, there is a problem with my editing, I mean, um, with my loading. Uh, the reader that decodes, uh, that takes that and inputs it into the GPU is reading it too slowly, so I get corruption. So let's load it on. So when I load it, you'll see that some of the corruption will be shown on the, uh, especially the zero. So I'm already, you can already see that some pixels are missing on the zero already. And only two are missing on the two. That's uh, because the reader to input that is kind of uh, slow, so it doesn't pick up all the bits. So when I say bits, every one of the, every one of the pixels is essentially a bit, a one or a zero. So this application for paint can actually be used in a, um, in a whole bunch of um, scenarios. Uh, scenarios and uh, you can load different programs basically what I'm going to be using is the same thing but it's going to be uh, a sound card or a punch card that will create music because each of these is a p uh, pixel I mean each of these is a bit that will play a note block as the counter goes down and uh, or the program counter that co comes down will uh, essentially play the music sheet so enough of that I'll show you what it looks like on the outside. 
Let's just go through the sunroof. So this is the GPU and the hard drives and the motherboard and all the bus. What we're he uh, here is the GPU from the, the snow block all the way down to this the sand and stone. Um, this is the input selection where it selects which pixel you want to change. This is the buffer so that this is uh, the reader and it doesn't pick up all the, uh, the bits right away sometimes. This is the uh, register for the GPU, and all these are T flip flops that are compacted to fit in a two, uh, two, uh, two wide, two high, and two and ten long. This is the cursor. This is a ma the matrix I created, and this is also the input selection. The reason why I'm ch using this matrix is, um, is because it can allow input. So this is what takes the inputs and from the hard drives and inputs it into the GPU. This is the motherboard because it takes all the inputs and outputs and um, shuffles them around to where they need to be. So this is the GPU is shuffled all the way to the display and it can it's it could be shuffled into the hard drive if needed to. It, it does, but uh, if you need to, where these every jukebox are, you can uh, add a hard drive or another. Uh, module. This is a module to include more hard drives. Every module is two or is three unless you add a module to the side of it. So you can add a, one more module to the side of this and you can add uh, three more hard drives onto it. So a total of um, six, uh, seven. Seven hard drives can be made. This is the hard drive. This stores all the bit because these are RS no latches. This is the uh, data cable. This is like the S uh, SATA cables for your hard drives. This inputs it all the way to the motherboard. The motherboard is two modules. This directs all the inputs and this directs all the outputs. And this shuffles it all the way down to the GPU as, again. Over here is a ROM. This is just for people who don't um, who want to use this to create frames instead of using the pixel or uh, using the cursor to create the pixels instead. The reason why I put this here is because I'm making the GPU uh, is going to decode and run videos essentially. I will be put placing uh, two two four bits ALU on top of this to decode to uh, decode the uh, pic pictures to compress them. Um, so that uh, so that um, you can have um, essentially two pictures on one hard drive. At the moment, you can only have one picture on one hard drive because it's only one bit to one pixel. But um, eventually, I'll, I'll have it. I already have the algorithm uh, worked out, and it's not fully, it's not, uh, I'll tell you this, it's not all binary. It's some kind of a coding myself. This is the vertical counter that I created, and the horizontal counter from Minecraft Attic is just below it, which you can see through these, uh, these the purple cloth that's minecraft addicts which i copied and pasted and so credit to him the hard drive was created by tom whose uh, ign is t-o-m-y-s from redstone development of uh, foundation which is rdf and they have a very good server for finding out how to um to do the uh, redstone so once you edit it you can also load it back into the um to the uh, hard drive and I'll show you what else is on the, um, the second hard drive. And that will give you a hint to what I'm going to do. Another thing that I'm going to do besides putting uh, an ALU uh, onto the, uh, or two ALUs actually, onto the, uh, on top of this. This is only 32, hi uh, 32 height. So um, I can actually add a whole bunch more. And as you can see, everything is uh modular meaning I can stack them on top of each other and copy and paste to make this bigger right now this is only a 16 by 16 um, display I can make this essentially as big as I want or as big as I can on Minecraft beside making the soundboard which I'll be which I already have the design and built already it, it's uh, all the note blocks are static so all the data is read to you and if you haven't figured this out this is not just used for paint but this is used for decoding different um, uh, bits. So every of these pixels is actually a uh, zero, and every everywhere you see that's white right now, that's uh, that's a zero, 
and everywhere you see black is a one. So right now it's just one over there. But um, that's going to be used if to program different games that are going to be read by the ALU. You'll understand when I come out with Paint version 3.0, or I might not call it Paint anymore. But um, here's what's on the hard drive number two. Oh, I have to load it onto the display. So you're not, not so you, if you see it, that is the Space Invader creature. So that's what I'll be programming the game Space Invader or Asteroid into this um, somewhat of a computer almost. It's going to run games, I will assure you that. And maybe Tetris, if I can get that working as well. This, beside running paint, this is also a random number generator because it can uh, pick and jump, which is uh, a selection of pix uh, lines of pixels I can choose. And each one of these is a number, basically, because it's binary. So this is, has a lot of features already, and it's going to be almost a fully-fledged computer because it, it will be running a game. Well, not a computer. I guess I'll call it a Game Boy or some kind of uh, gaming game station. So, well, thank you.